Manel Cobb, like I said earlier, he's been in great form as of late, man. When we're talking about the huge uh, knockout win over Zalga Zumagulov or the knockout win over Ode Osborne, which has aged incredibly well since then, um, he is doing a lot better than his first couple skids with a loss against Pantoja and a loss against Nicolau. Because we're like, what the hell happened to this dude? He was supposed to be the, the next champion, and now he's falling off. But now he, he it, it was just a little slow start. However, for Bontarin, man, you get a sp split decision loss against Roy Val, um, a no contest for Matt Schnell. And I'm trying to remember what exactly happened there. Do you have it off the top of your head why that got ruled a no contest? No, no, no. I had it. I thought he won a unanimous decision against Matt Schnell. I didn't know they changed it. Yeah, man. So we'll look into that as I'm talking a little bit more. But then you lose to Kai Kara France, that first round TKO, which a lot of people thought to a degree was a little, little iffy. Um, but either way. You have the win over uh, Holly and Paeva. That was a first-round doctor stoppage, which was fair, man. That was that was a good fight back and forth. It was a really nasty cut that ended up stopping the fight, but it goes to show Bontarine has power. His last fight against Roy Val showed that he has the takedown chops and he can hold you down. Some people thought Bontarine won the fight, bro. It was a split decision after all. But either way, Manel Cobb says, Bontarine, um, I am the well-rounded fighter. You're crazy if you think that you're going to be able to beat me in any aspect. I'm a better striker. I'm a better fighter on the ground, better jujitsu, better wrestling. But Bontarine, I do think, has has a big power advantage not just power in the hands but strength overall as a human being but then again aj manel cop is under the tutelage of daniel cormier right so and habib Nurmagomedov. so what is power what is strength what does that even mean how does Bon Serene win this fight if he were to win this fight? Manel Kopp is so damn good. His footwork is incredible. If you shoot in at the wrong time, you're going to catch a knee to your jaw. I mean, his striking is phenomenal. His jiu-jitsu is great. Getting back up to his feet, easy. I mean, how does Bon Serene win the fight? Man, Bontarine, this this is a very uphill battle for Bontarine. I think if he does, it's going to have to be off one of those, one of those counter strikes he has because he does have serious power and he has heavy top pressure, which I like for him. But against Manel Kopp, not the best route for victory on this one, man. So I think if, if he's going to be doing it, he's going to have to get Manel Kopp coming forward, looking for that counter strike, slip off to the side, hit Manel with something that he doesn't really see. Because Bontarine is a great counter striker. He just does it. He, in his last fight against Brandon Rival, he wasn't able to use it because Brandon Rival was slick and had a little bit too much range on him. So he needed to get on the inside. Now, since they're both about the same size, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, they're both 5'5", five, five, I think Bontarine has a little bit better shot to hit one of those counter strikes. Maybe throw something to the body, come back up to the top, let Manel kind of feel that, come back in, dip to the side, rip one. I don't know, man. But I think at the counter striking, that's going to be the best shot for Bontarine going forward. Because, I mean, other than that, Manel Cop has you outbeat on every single thing, man. Grappling, wrestling, striking, this dude. And he's slick. He can hit you, like you said, with the knee at any point. Manel Cop is a very dangerous man. I see it as the counter strike for Bontarin. What about you, Derek? Well, I think that Bontarin is going to have to mix in some of that grappling too, man. Because if he can just lock in that top control, if he could really just sit there and control Manel Cop for a little bit, you're going to take a little bit less pressure off yourself in terms of needing to be very successful and outpace Manel Cop on the feet. Because I think Cop, if he is that aggressive Cop that we've been seeing, which has been propelling him to victory recently, it's going to be too much, man. The volume is going to be there. The counter striking is going to be precise. The precision is going to be there. But you got to mix in the takedowns. But who's to say? I mean, Bontarin has 11 career submissions under his belt. Who's to say he can't submit? Manel Cobb, who he has been submitted twice in his career, so it's definitely an option. But um, just so we're clear on this end, AJ, um, it looks like Hogerio Bontarine, that no contest versus uh, no contest versus Matt Schnell. Um, I don't know. I, this is actually the article, article for it. Excuse me. So Bontarini gets reduced suspension for a tainted supplement, and then he returned versus Roy Val after that one. So basically, there was some, you know, USADA nonsense, tainted picograms and all that craziness, man, that uh, definitely played a part in why that fight ended up being a no contest, which a fight that he won against Matt Chanel, But, you know, neither here nor there. I mean, do you, are you reading into that at all and going into this fight? I mean, what's done is done. The man served his time, right? So what do you think? I mean, tainted supplement or not, man served his time. It's a, it's a hard one to get back, especially because he already fought Roy Val after that. Yeah. So I don't read too much into it. Mm. Although at the same point, man, Bontarine does look juicy. So it is, uh, he for 5'5", five, five, homeboy's thick. So, thick, I mean, thick, I can yeah. see a little pause for concern, but I don't read yeah. too much into it. Yeah, 125, the man is thick. So let's talk about props, man. For a Hogerio Bontarine to win via submission is plus, four, uh, plus 450 prop right there, man. So, I mean, it's on the table, right? For a decision, plus 500. Now, for Menel Cop to win via decision, plus 235. And via TKO, we're looking at plus 125. So, I like Menel Cop in this fight, man. 
I, I really like Manel Cop. I think he can land that TKO shot on Bontarin and really hurt him. But then if you really want to give respect to Bontarin, the man has only been finished via uh, KO or TKO once. And that was the Kai Car France fight where was he really knocked out? Like, was he really knocked out? Not, not really. So what do you like better? Do you like a KO prop for Cop or do you like the decision prop for Cop? Well, I was kind of surprised to see the KO as plus money, as, yeah. um, but I, I like the decision. I like the decision a lot more. Well, I don't know, because I, I actually just looked at my note right now. I scrolled down. I have cop KO round two, so that's what I was thinking originally. <laughs> um, but now now I was seeing a little bit more decision-based. But, you know, I'm going to trust my gut on this one, Derek. Okay. I'm going to go cop KO round two. I like that plus, what would you say, 180 comeback? We're plus 125 for the TKO for Manel Cop. So the over and under here is two and a half rounds. So is it fair to say you're taking the under? I'm taking the under KO round two. Okay. All right. We'll take that one. And I think I'm going to play it safe here with a Manel uh, Cop decision victory here. I think Bontorin is going to make this harder than we definitely anticipate here. Um, I don't think he's going to fall victim to the knockout, but then you never know. Manel Cop can just hit him with that one good shot and we can call it quits there. But I'm going to rock with the over on here, rock with the decision from Nell Cop because at the end of the day, um, the over prop right here is uh, plus 110 for the two and a half rounds so the under is minus 140 odds makers are probably think it's gonna be a little more drawn out and we've also seen cop sometimes has a slow start he's got volume issues sometimes man and bontarini he's not a high volume puncher himself so we'll see what happens but uh looks like we're both rocking with Manel cop on this one 